everyone, it's me Vanessa. I want to make a video for my post-op VSG surgery week 52, which tomorrow I'm actually going to be a year out. Um, wow, it has been an amazing journey and next week I will be sharing what I eat in a day, but today I just want to talk about um, confidence and the changes mentally that I've gone through for this past year. Um, first, let's start with stats. So my very highest weight back in January of 2014 was at 280 pounds. I had surgery March 13th of 2017 and was at 235.2. And this morning I weighed in at 154.4. So that is a gain of 0 0.6, a total loss since surgery of 80.8 and 125.6 pounds down from my very highest weight. Last week went well. I stuck with my eating plan, did Monday all the way until Friday, 100%, um, got in all my workouts. Saturday I went out to eat and I did really well throughout the day. And then we had a dinner that we went to a Spanish tapas place. And so I had some bocorones with vinegar. I had some baked potatoes with a little bit of like a chili um, sauce on the side. And then I had a about a cup of roasted vegetables um, that had a little bit of salt and then olives on the side. So that was really, really yummy. I had a ginger tea. It was like a ginger and citrus mixed tea, unsweetened. And then we went for, it was like a, um, kind of like a get together, but it was also for like a birthday. And so someone brought a cake and it's like a, ch it's like a chocolate, like mousse cake. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to enjoy a slice because for one, it's from a German bakery. And for two, I had been on plan strict for the past seven weeks. And so I was like, you know what, one cake, hey, I'm going to enjoy it. And I also had a cappuccino that night, but I did not add sugar to the cappuccino and I didn't have the little biscuit or chocolate that was on the side. I just stuck with the cappuccino. And I'm very proud of myself because I decided not to drink any alcohol on this plan. Um, I did have beers on the 3rd of February for that beer fest in Bruges. But last, uh, on Saturday night, we went to a bar and I did not have anything to drink. So very proud of myself for sticking with it. And it's amazing. And then Sunday, I was right back on track, um, 100%. And then this morning I started back, um, I'm, I'm starting week eight of ADD Obsession and last week I did week seven. Uh, and this is the last week I have until phase three of ADD Obsession. So that's, that's actually really, really, really awesome because um, phase two was mostly the build phase. So phase one, that's when I got the ball rolling, I was losing weight, I was, um, building muscle, but not to the point of like really building. It was more just burning fat. Uh, this second phase has been all about building muscle. So I've increased my weights to where now, you know, I can feel, feel my, um, shoulders, my chest. I started feeling muscles in my chest and my hips, my side, um, my abdomen, every, everywhere I'm feeling muscles. So this is really the build phase. This is where I'm, I'm, doing more heavy weight lifting. And then the next phase, phase three, is gonna be all about shredding. So this is going to be a mixture of lighter to medium weights with some cardio mixed in. So I'm really excited about getting into phase three and seeing how that goes, and then I'm done. I only have six weeks left of this program, which is insane to think because I have um, one last week for phase two, I have four weeks for phase three, and then they have something called peak week, which is at the very end. That's a week um, where you kind of like uh, shred more. You make sure that you go higher protein, lower carb. And so I'm, I'm debating on if I should follow the diet plan with peak week or if I should just do the normal diet um, that I've been doing this whole program with that last week. So we'll see as I get there. Um, I'm just taking it one week at a time and, and just you know, finding out what works for me. Um, but the topic for today, I, I really wanna talk about confidence. Uh, this past week, I did something that I've never done before. Um, I actually got a sexy photo shoot for um, 
pictures for my husband and I would never have done this before. Even when I was younger, um, even in my teens, I don't think I would have ever done a photo shoot like this. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm one, I like to dress comfortable. I don't really put much into effort into makeup and hair and it's just, I don't know. It just was never me, right? But I decided, you know, with my body now changing and I feel so much better, I thought, you know, why not? Why not jump right out of my comfort zone and do something that's really uncomfortable for me um, and see, you know, how it goes and how I feel. And I enjoyed the whole experience. I, I highly encourage every woman um, to do this at least once in their life. Um, it really was a beautiful, a beautiful experience. Um, the photographer worked with me one-on-one. -on -one. I felt comfortable with her. Um, I looked beautiful. I just, and I saw some of the pictures, I saw three of the pictures and I was just like, wow, is that really me? You know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy the confidence I have. And, you know, I used to second guess myself all the time in the past, uh, food choices I made, choices I made about life in general. I just, I always second guess myself. And now I'm, I guess you could say I have a stronger personality and I let my, you know, opinion be known. <laughs> and sometimes that gets me in trouble, but I just, when, when I want to share something and I feel strongly about something, I just do it. You know, I don't, I don't think about it anymore. Obviously I'm not going to say something that's rude to someone and say something negative and, and all that kind of stuff. But I really focus on really, really getting things out now and not holding things in and holding things back. And I find that it's making me stronger as a person. And I hope, you know, I can help others who are struggling with, with confidence issues and, and not feeling secure about themselves, you know, cause I, I'm a true believer in self love. I believe that you should love your body throughout the whole journey. Uh, not, not just at the end. I have loose skin. I still have fat and there's things, there's times where I'll wear something and I'm like, ah, oh, that doesn't look so good. Um, but having that confidence and feeling like, like you look good. All right. Being very positive about the way you feel is so, so important. Um, so just keep that in mind, you guys, it's, it's an amazing feeling. Confidence is an amazing feeling. And you know, just something as basic as looking in a mirror and just saying things about yourself that you love. You know, it doesn't have to be the physical. It can be like your hands. Yes, I love the way my hands look. Or, you know, I love my personality. I like how, you know, I help each other. I help people out. I, you know, or maybe that you're an emotional person and that you feel, you feel things. And, you know, just, just saying positive things about yourself is so, so important. And I really encourage you, you know, daily look in that mirror. Um, I'm a big believer on personal development, reading books that help, uh, self-help, self-help books really help with confidence. And so, you know, work on that. It's so important in this journey. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to mention is I had my DEXA scan. I actually posted a picture on my page and my Instagram page, Facebook and all those. Um, and I'm right now sitting at 37.4% body fat, which is not bad, especially when, when I weighed 205 pounds back in June, I was at 52%, I believe body fat. So that's a big drop. And I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. And that's about it. So I just want you guys to love, love yourself work on you. Um, you can't change it unless you really want to change yourself. Uh, it's not worth changing for other people. You have to do it for you and just keep that in mind and keep an eye out next week for my, what I eat in a day. I'm actually going to do what I eat during a refeed day. So you guys can see the higher amount of calories that I eat in one day. It's kind of like a modified cheat day. So you guys take care and I will see you next week and bye.